Ew, my fingers are red from hot shittles. Oh. Hey everyone, it is me, Sam Tovar. Welcome back to my Chanel. How are you guys doing? I am been gone. <laughs> I think like like four weeks the last video i made was on the chris rock will smith situation and then i dipped just as fast as the oscars dropped will smith from attending their event but now i am back i have really been busy with just business stuff behind the scenes you know and very busy wedding planning yes i'm super excited i didn't think it would be as time consuming you know as i thought i always thought that when people said that wedding planning is like super stressful and time consuming that they were exaggerating but it is very time consuming and very stress but i wanted to come back with a video for you guys that's a little lighthearted because i know i don't want to abandon you guys every time i upload a video i low-key pull a cory kenshin and just dip and i promise you guys i think like two videos ago that i would be more consistent you saw how that turned out but i'm going back on my promise i'm going to be consistent and i'm back with a fun video because i also did not want to come back with a serious video because my brain is on one percent right now mush brain slime brain i have a sponsor for today's video because i've been gone for so long and i haven't been able to pay my bills so thank you to cook unity for sponsoring today's video all right let's get into it thank you to cook unity for sponsoring today's video cook unity is the first chef to consumer platform that connects a really diverse group of talented chefs who cook delicious and inventive meals fresh every day they work in micro kitchens and not those like big warehouse production facilities so your meals can be made with real ingredients, nothing artificial, and humanly raised meat and organic ingredients when possible. Cook Unity chefs also have a really wide range of types of meals you can order with over seven different dietary preference filters such as vegan, paleo, carb friendly, low calorie, and even gluten free options. I chose the calorie friendly menu and today I'm going to be eating something with lots of flavor which is the chicken tikka masala made by chef Andres Mendes. All meals come already made to heat up which is super convenient and extremely time smart as someone who lives an extremely busy life i just i honestly don't have time to cook and i also really don't want to turn to unhealthy pre-made frozen foods that literally have one flavor and the flavor is just salt like no i need i need my spice okay i'm hispanic so cook unity has saved not only my time but my taste buds because their menus are honestly super diverse and tasty and you can experience it too go to cookunity.com or click the link in the description and use code SALEM50 to get 50% off your first order of Cook Unity meals to try them out for yourself. Speaking of wedding planning, so something that's different that I'm doing, which is a lot of things, very controversial things. I kind of want to make a video on like my unpopular wedding edition opinions and also what I'm going to be doing for my wedding because apparently I have offended a, a lot of people with my uh, wedding standards. Like for example, there's no cheering allowed. I'm sorry, cheering, but you are not allowed. And also there's no alcohol there. What did she say? and also no plus ones so it's just it's my wedding i get to do whatever i want but anyways one thing that i'm doing that's i guess non-traditional is i actually want everyone to dress up really really nice like i know in american culture that's like a thing that you're not supposed to do apparently it's like showing up the bride but no one's gonna outshow me okay i am extra i'm always extra have you guys seen my video looks i'm always extra other than today because i was just lazy today so pretend that i look extra as hell today i want people to treat my wedding like it is the next met gala except this time they would actually come on theme speaking of met gala that happened recently and as someone who doesn't really care much about the met gala i feel like the met gala just kind of finds its way into social media and then against your will you learn about it and the only reason why i know about the met gala is because i always watch mac does it review the looks which if you haven't seen mac does it review the looks you need to it is absolutely brilliant and i think the last time i was truly involved in the photos and the reviews of everything for the met gala was the heavenly bodies theme the reason why the met gala was so big you know in the i want to say like two years ago was because all types of celebrities and influencers or whatever would be invited and they would show out they would look amazing but most recently the reason why it's been so popular is because people have been showing up looking like this which is super disappointing and i know that this met gala the most recent one has 
been labeled as like the most disappointing Met Gala ever. And you know what? I really want to review it and talk about the Met Gala and why I actually low-key still don't care about it, but also why they low-key were on theme, okay? I'm gonna play devil's advocate. All right, and since I'm the double, I had to bring an angle. And the angle that I, I'm bringing onto my channel is someone who is also a fashionista. Please check her out on Instagram because her looks are freaking amazing. Is my sister Penny. <laughs> Did someone say hypotenuse? Because you said angle. Mmm, 90 degrees. Wait, is that the, is that an angle? <gasps> oh my god, we're both wearing brown. Oh my gosh, we're caca. Oh my, oh my gosh. I look so white on this camera. Color correct is I do not look this pasty in real life. Well, it's because you're anemic. It's because you're cold blooded. Moron. Mom's not here. <laughs> hey, if you guys know what the hell we're talking about, you get a star. <laughs> I'm gonna pin your comment. You get the way I love a wash, and, and the, the price is um, very, very low. <laughs> very, very low, like the standards at the Met Gala. And no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So I brought you on today because I wanted to review. Can you scoot? Oh, damn. I invited you on my channel today because I wanted to do Met Gala talk and review their looks. I swear the Met Gala comes around more than the freaking holidays. I, I swear, there's like a Met Gala every two months, I swear, or no. I mean, you're not lying. I'm confused. I don't even know when it happens. I feel like it just randomly comes up on my feet and I'm like, oh, okay, and then I go everyone's outfit. So I wanted to review some Met Gala looks with you and um, discuss some of the controversies because... When is there never oh. not a damn controversy? People need to calm down. Don't y'all got jobs? Unemployment rates are like high, so. There's a lot of controversies because how wouldn't there be if you're inserting a bunch of people that are super famous yeah. in one room, there's gonna be something, right? And also apparently the Met Gala theme this time around, like no one did it. Mm -hmm. But first let's do some research. I don't even know what the Met Gala is. What even is, what what the frick is it? I heard that mm -hmm. it was like a fundraiser for a museum. It was never about the outfits. The Met Gala has never been about the outfits, but it kind of accidentally became a big part of yeah. it. Because people would go, you know, out of respect for the museum they would dress up and there'd be themes and all because it's art right mm -hmm. but now i feel like people just care about the outfits more than the actual cause of the fundraiser <laughs> i know you're literally right i'm pretty sure that's what it is but um what is the met gala according to wikipedia the Met Gala, or Met Ball, formerly called the Costume Institute Gala or the Costume Institute Benefit, is an annual fundraising gala held for the benefit of the Metropolitan Museum of Arts Costume Institute in New York City. Costumes. Mm. That's why they would have the would dress up. Okay, that makes okay. sense. Oh, and that's so camp. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, and no one follows it anymore, so that's great. Why did the Met Gala become so famous? <laughs> the Met Costume Institute Gala is a highly renowned fundraising benefit that serves as an opening celebration for the institute's annual fashion exhibit ah, okay fashion costumes i'm seeing everything's aligning my brain cells are connecting they're creating pathways the cobwebs in your brain are finally yeah but that was educational okay i understand not what the met gala is so yeah. i know that the met gala wasn't as popular as it is now because they used to invite people that were not so famous but there were still people who would like donate to the event and the costumes to keep the museum alive and afloat the person that's in charge is anna wintour yeah the editor of vogue and she chooses the themes mm -hmm. and she also invites the people mm -hmm. and approves their looks Right? From what I've read, a very popular, like, the, the one of the fave Met Gala themes was Heavenly Bodies. Oh, yeah. Everybody was so on point with that one. Everyone yeah. looked gorgeous. Rihanna. Rihanna is Anna Wintour's favorite Met Gala guest. Mm -hmm. That is so crazy. And that was really iconic, right? But then there was a year that the Met Gala was skipped because of the panty. So then they had two. That's why it seemed like they were kept coming up. Oh, maybe, yeah. That, that makes sense, sense, right? Okay, yeah. Because I was like, didn't we just have one? And then, not me saying we as if I'm important and got invited, but anyways. Girl, if Emma Chamberlain can host, you can too. I appreciate you hyping me up, but no. <laughs> no, actually, no. I have some beef with Emma Chamberlain. Oh. I don't like the fact that they're inviting these random ass influencers and people who just, I just can't. Like, I'm so over it. Anyways. I understand that the, that's a little bit of a controversial thing with people. Like, why are there social media influences there because 
the the whole point of you know these kinds of events is that these people that are arriving they have they have like almost like a legend in the making right they're important they've contributed a lot to media and all these things when it comes to an influencer people are like really you're like a snot-nosed person on the internet however statistics show that content creators drive more numbers than traditional media and that's okay, just that's the true. truth that is just the flat out truth tv is dead netflix is already dead like dude i don't know what's up with netflix but it's not looking good someone call 911 get the aed you know what i mean that's my angle on that angle well, I still don't like the fact she hosted it. Anyways, so the theme for the 2022 Met Gala is Gilded Glamour and White Tie. Oh, really? Yes. So this is not for the dirty, dirty peasants. Oh. This is white tie only if you are rich, if you are luxuriant, and if you're not a disgusting pleb like us. Well, I'm actually a pink collar, but thank you. Well, I'm brown collar for dookie. <laughs> because I don't do anything. So starting with the first controversy, the reason why this theme is controversial is because it is considered very insensitive because they are glamorizing the very, very hard time that America is in right now. You know, there's a lot of wealth disparity, disparities. How do you say it? Disparities. Say it. Disparities. Okay. Disparities. And people were just finding this theme like super offensive because the Met Gala is now considered like this elite thing that only elite people are invited to. So it was kind of like people were like, boy, this is literally Hunger Games in the Capitol. Those are a lot of deductions, but sure. Is that was it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess. I mean, yeah, they're elite, but not because of the Met Gala. Like, it's been since the beginning. Like, celebrities get away with crime all of the time since, like, before the Met Gala. So, I guess I understand, but, like, it's been a... That's a thing that's been around for a long time. You know what I mean? There's literally celebrities right now who have criminal records and are still not in jail and have not had to pay for their crimes. So. Oh, my God. Who is it? <laughs> Ezra Miller keeps getting in trouble in Hawaii. And... They get arrested like every two to three business days in Hawaii. And like they're going around, they're going around Hawaii harassing everyone, attacking people who do karaoke. It's an absolute mess. Let's get to the outfits. Oh, okay. They have been encouraged to approach the late 19th century clothing through modern lens. This was the assignment for the people that were invited. Okay. Yeah, got to it. To okay. approach it in the late 19th century clothing through modern lens. Okay, cool. So 19th century fashion looks like this. The fashion uh, that comes from the years 1800 to 1900. So think like, you know, kings, queens, you know, courts. Monarchs. Yes. So with that being said, Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian. Can I just say, I understand that I am not the most fashionable person. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm not the one to judge. I am. Give me that. Oh. Okay. First off, she looks beautiful, of course. That's mm -hmm. you know, she looks great. Kim is, always looks beautiful. Yeah, she looks great. So I know that she was wearing Marilyn Monroe's dress. Yes, she was. That's not 19th century. Glamour? Sure. Hollywood glamour. Gilded glamour? No. 19th century? No. So uh looks white great. tie? Kind of. But what does white tie mean? I don't know. Let me look it up. But for those of you who don't know, this is like actually like Marilyn Monroe's dress. The one that she sang to JFK in of the happy birthday, Mr. President. She's being seductive and stuff like that. White tie means floor length gowns for women and a black jacket or coat with tails and matching pants for men. I mean, okay, yeah, they, they got the white tie between them too. Okay, fine. If they did the assignment, you know, people say like, oh, they understood the assignment. I would say they would get like a C plus. C plus because they got the points, but they just didn't go extra, like the extra mile. Okay, I'll, I'll give you that. C plus, sure. If I want to be nice, B minus, just because they are white tie. But um, B minus is too much. <laughs> P definitely brings down the class. <laughs> so... <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I know there were a lot of people who were uncomfortable with her wearing Marilyn's dress. You oh, know? yeah, yes. That was one of the other controversies I wanted to talk about. Apparently, Marilyn had said she, you know, didn't want anyone to wear that dress. And mm -hmm. then she wears the dress. What you know happened what I mean? to respect for the dead? So I, I understand because, you know, Marilyn is such an icon. She really, really is. So I understand for some people it's like, yo, if you're going to wear, like, the clothing of an icon... 
Look make like sure an icon. No, make sure their shoes fit for that role. You know, you know what I mean. I mean, I will say, I mean, Marilyn Monroe was considered a sex icon, and so is Kim. So I do believe they have that in common, where they're like sex icons and stuff. Mm -hmm. But even then, I don't know. Yeah, C plus. You're right. If I could have rated this look in, with an A, I would say she could have at least done like Marilyn inspired makeup and hair, and Pete could have done something way different to complement her outfit with the overall theme. You know. Mm. But since she didn't, C minus. I mean C plus. Next is Bella Hadid in Burberry gown and real. I don't know what that says. The hair. I think they nailed it with mm -hmm. the hair. Also the lace and just like the mm -hmm. sleeves. This mm -hmm. looks good. Yeah, I like it because the whole idea was like modern twist and that, mm -hmm. that I think that's a really modern twist. But I feel like the hair is what really brings it together because mm -hmm. if they had done something else, that's literally 19th century hair. I think they did a really good job and the makeup too. The pearls and the dangly earrings are mm -hmm. remind me definitely of like the um, fancy ladies that would powder their faces. And the fact that it's pearls makes it on yeah. my, my opinion. Yeah, for sure. So Gothic history and origins goes back to the 18th century. Yeah. Not necessarily the 19th, but I, I know it goes through the 19th. So I don't know. One could make an argument that it even ties in with that. I actually genuinely love Bella. Okay, I like her. But sis looks like a Dementor. <laughs> Who would you give this? I say a, a B plus. B plus. B plus. I would give this a B plus too. Yeah. Um... Hey, you know what? I don't hate it too much. It looks like the little boys go paper, paper. <laughs> wait, wait, what do they, they say? <laughs> this is Emma Corrin. Uh huh. And they're wearing. Actually, it fits the theme very well, in my opinion. Yes, it does. It just, you know, the hat. It's it's in the theme. It just yeah. it be looking a little goofy, but it fits the theme. Honestly, it really does. It does. It looks like the the little boys like extra, extra, green all about it. Menace, uh, goes through a bikini bottom. We're sitting paralyzed with fear. Dude, got me fine over the over mic over here, damping y'all. <laughs> they look like they about to ask me for some more. <laughs> Oliver Twist that. Oliver Twisted Cheese Curls. You know what? I'd say an A. I would say A. Yeah. A minus only because I wish it was more glamorous. But I, I think it's great. Most on theme that I've seen so far. Yeah. Next is. Mickey Minaj in Burberry. I actually like it because I like the silhouette of the dress behind her. It does resemble the gowns from the 19th century, but like I said, it has a modern twist. So I think it did a good job mixing both. Maybe, I don't know, I just don't get the concept of the black beads all over her. Mm. Maybe it's cause like people in the 18th century were working in like trains and like the coal, like the coals gets on them and mm. I'm just trying to, f I'm trying to defend the queen, okay? I think the idea behind the like specs is was just to add a little bit more to the outfit without giving her a long sleeve, I think, maybe. I mean, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I just can't stand the snapback. I don't understand it. It should have been something else. Literally, if you just cover this, it looks gorgeous. Even with the beading and everything, I just don't understand the hat. Top hat. And no, even if she did something camp, like a little mini top hat, like on the side, that would have been better. I just don't understand why the snapback. For me, like I, mean, I, I said. I mean, I guess I get yeah. it because of like modern, because it's supposed to be modern. Yeah, that's all, honestly, yeah, that's probably, probably it. I would say B minus. B um, minus. You're just saying that because you don't want the barbs to come for you. If her dress had any other type of silhouette, I don't think it would have gone, but. All right, and we're giving this B for Barb. I mean, she looked like she in the book by Edgar Allan Poe, but you know what I mean? People thought Edgar Allan Poe was crazy because he believed crows could talk, even though he's he was literally right. Yes. See, when you go on the Salem Tove, our YouTube channel, you come not knowing nothing, but then you leave with something important. You leave with approximately one more brain cell, guaranteed. Next is Lily James. That's gorgeous, dude. Yeah, it's beautiful, but it gives me more Hollywood glam instead of gilded glam, but that's just me. Um, no, that shoulder piece to me is definitely like, it reminds me of armor. I'm listening, please your case. Uh, uh, oh, uh. Um, it's beautiful, but like I said, for me personally, it gives me more Hollywood glam. It gives me more like 70s chair more than gilded glamour, so. That's just me. Oh. We're getting this C for share. It's giving share. It's giving share. Mm. You know what? Okay, next is Stormzy. I actually like this. Ain't that Kylie Jenner's baby? 
I actually like this one because the clergy was very powerful in the 19th century. And this is very giving me those vibes of the clergy, you know, like the papa. I don't know. What, what are the roles called? The papa? Who the papa? The papa, girl. The pope? Yeah, but in Spanish, it's the papa. Like, oh. <laughs> he, like he should baptize celebrities' babies. He could baptize Stormy. Stormy? Mommy loves you. Uh, what do you rate this look? I rate this a B because it's good. It goes on theme. I just wish there was a little more. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I get that. I wish that there was like some sort of headpiece or something. Yeah, just something like really dig into that the clergy. You know, <gasps> or imagine like white liner. Just like something. Something has to yeah. be ho- happening right here. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Oh, he got a tire on his head. Maybe it's a cultural thing. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm sorry if I offended anyone. Um, oh, he offended me? So this is Leslie Odom Jr. I don't know what to say about it. I really hope that the headpiece has more significance and that I'm just missing the point and I'm uncultured because I just don't see. I don't see. Yeah, unfortunately, there's like no explanation right here. We're, we're literally on the Vogue website and there's no explanation of like the depth of it, I guess. Yeah, I really wish that there was a know, description. Like a mini background. I swear to God, guys, we're not trying to be uncultured swines, all right? This is not 19th century nor white tie. No, 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 no. Okay, so this is Dwayne Wade in Versace. And I actually i am arguing with you because I think this is on theme and it gives me very much very sexy monogamy. Monopoly guy and Monopoly guy is fancy and he's definitely from the 19th century then where's his monocle it's right there oh that's the chain okay if he just had a gold mon imagine like a gold studded diamond studded monocle yeah if he had a monocle I would have liked it a lot more if he had a white top hat with a golden monocle I think that would look very nice no top hat just monocle top hat no top hat I rate this a B, in my opinion. Okay. <gasps> oh my god. Next is Lizzo. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. The hair, the dress. Yes. The flute. The flute is gold, bro. You know why? I love the flute because back in the day, people had talent. And so I love that she's pulling out the flute. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say something else about the flute because like back in the day that was like an instrument. They would right? like tooty toot toot, you know, when they were in battle. Were there battles and then I don't know. Okay, well when I was were... just gonna say she gave me Pied Piper vibes, but you know. I it really represents. <laughs> I like it. I like it. That's an A. This is our first A. Yes. It's a really, it's really good. Good job, Lizzo. I love it. I love it. And you can see how she is summoning the rats behind her. See how musty that carpet is? Oh my god, that carpet is musty. <laughs> what are y'all doing with the donations? Get a new carpet. For real, what the hell? Next is Katy Perry mm-hmm. with her Bobby out. <laughs> Why do you have to call it a bobby? I hate you. Ew. Wait, oh. look at the carpet. It's literally disgusting. I told you. What are they doing, bro? All the ratas that Lizzo summoned ran all across all that carpet. I'm telling you. For real. I yeah. actually love this outfit. So this outfit is a reference to a Renaissance painting, I believe, oh. with a woman with her breast out. Oh, okay. And also the way the gown is swept, it's very 19th century. And the drapery, I think this is... Uh, I think it's really good. It's really good. I wish it was another color besides black. Mm. I wish it was a little bit more. Maybe like more of a cream with blue. Cream with like, just more of like that type of stuff. Yeah, yeah. But then again, it's, it, I guess it's modern, but I don't necessarily associate mm. the color like black and white with modern. I know it's very like considered minimalist, but I don't know. Well, now that you gave me the background and you cultured me, I think it's pretty okay. I would give it a B. She looks boobyful. B for booby! Yes! Okay, this is SZA and Vivian Westwood. Looking like the Wicked Witch of the West. I like it! You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like in those paintings where there's like, you know, women with really snatched bodies and like the big bodice and they're like walking a Dalmatian or something. That's what it reminds me of. I give SZA an S for satisfactory. But isn't S like the top tier? 
Oh, then she don't get that one then. I would say C. Really? I think she deserves more than that because the silhouette really does match the 19th century. The hat, the gloves, the dress. I think it's like way too modern. I obviously like the look. It's nice, but I don't know for the theme. Agree to disagree. One thing I will say though, I do not understand this current obsession with this Pepto-Bismol color that I keep seeing on the red carpet at different events. Like there was some person that was like, it brings happiness. Okay, that's nice. Not to me. Isn't that the fool from the Upside Down? Ooh, he back. Oh my god. Wait, what? This is, okay. Lily. That's Jim Hopper. He's married to Lily Allen? That doesn't mean they're married, girl. Yes, it is. Search it up right now. Search it up right now. Who is Lily Allen married to? David Arbor. They're married. Girl, what? That is like the weirdest mix of people I've ever seen besides Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian. <laughs> they got married in 2020, which means she saw Stranger Things and said, I want to go to his upside down. And then they got married. You know what? He looks great. Oh yeah, he look, he looks great. He's yeah. he's literally on theme. He's literally the Monopoly guy. No monocle, but yes. Lily looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. I give them a D for David Arbor. It's giving me, it's giving me Sesame Street, Snuff and Love, I guess, on her dress, but dead Muppets. I give them an A because I like them. Okay, bye. But again, please, if I'm missing any cultural context here, or historical context, please comment below and correct us because I'd love to know. Because once I understand the context of the outfit, I'm like, oh, appreciate yeah. it more so also vogue do better because you did no descriptions as to the outfits i wish they could have done like cultural significance as well because i know some people with their outfits did some cultural significance mm -hmm. next is olivia rodrigo i do like the silhouette on her chest i feel like that does go like nice and drapey you know um i like the top a lot but i also understand that like her team very much likes to put a y2k twist on her to revive y2k through her so i understand that's what they were trying to do with this as well i hate this with all my hate so i give it a z a z yeah what do you mean a y2k oh i give it a y for why did you wear this <laughs> the butterfly clips have to go i would have liked it if it was like an also glittery like thing that would match with the gown but i just can't why the butterflies and what's bothering me the most is the purples don't match none of the purples match i know this is probably just me because i'm in i'm a person who draws a lot and stuff and the purples have to match them none of the purples match they're all different types and shades of purple and it's bothering me really bad you know what i would have loved if they had done like a really big extravagant braid with butterflies in it you know yes I mean? yes okay yeah i think butterflies would have worked if the hair was again if they put like baby's breath in it as well mm -hmm. and like glitter if they just had made like those you know those really big beautiful like braids. medieval braids yeah just like beautiful and big i, I feel like that would have really pulled this together mm -hmm. i really feel like that you know what i would have personally loved get rid of the shoes make her barefoot and do like the big braid with flowers barefoot on that uh, ugly ass carpet you want her to get tetanus what a <laughs> freaking jock strap i mean whoa what <laughs> what is going on Next is Russell Westbrook. I mean, yeah, modern twist. Looks good. Yeah, great. I give it, an, I give it an, an A. I do like the mismatching socks. Very nice touch. I like it. Steampunk. It reminds me, I feel like he's gonna go like, look what's under me killed. Yeah. <laughs> From SpongeBob? Yeah. Look what I got under me killed! Oh, this is Kendall Jenner in Prada. Beautiful dress. Beautiful. I really wish I could see it, but, but again, Vogue and their website's not very good. Yeah. It's giving me quinceanera napkin. It's giving me La Llorona. For real. Mm. Next is Cardi B and Versace and oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. I love it. It's beautiful. For me, this is definitely like up there with Lizzo. I kind of wish the hair was down, not up, but I disagree. It needs to be up because then it'll weigh down the piece if she has it down. Okay, but I want to know who's that behind her? I like the person behind her because they have that effortless, like, you know, it reminds me like Aurora and the forest. No. That I give the person behind her a higher score. Than Cardi? <laughs> <laughs> I give Cardi a B. Get it, guys? What is that? We went from cottage to cottage cheese. What is this? So this is Kylie Jenner wearing everything that was in the clearance bin at Walmart <laughs> and just put it all together last minute. For this dress, actually, fun fact, they gathered all the used tissues of the Met Gala of the past year to make it. 
for the Kardashians to be as fashionable as they are, I really wish they could have come forth with someone something better. Literally, the thing that she wore to the after party is on theme. Look. Oh wow, I love it, it's beautiful. But she didn't wear that for the carpet. Maybe it's cause again, the carpet's so gross. She was like, I'm not gonna <laughs> drag my gown onto that. If she wore this, this would have been definitely an A for me. Like comparing it to her actual look, it's like, bro, what happened? What was the thinking process? I heard that there was some significance behind her hat. I don't know, I don't wanna look into it. So <laughs> for, let's pretend. We are gonna get canceled this video. <laughs> Oh, hell no. This is Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker. Is her dress finished? That literally looks like the designer said, you know what, whatever. I didn't get to finish, but just wear it, girl. Do your best. Bye. I thought that was her, what's it called? I only know it in Spanish. It looks like she has a faja completely out. Con la panza toda pa fuera con una faja. Literally. Wait, I'm really struggling to understand. See, no, that literally looks like an unfinished outfit. I think that's the point. Do you see the sewing? Oh, okay, Edward Scissorhands. Okay, I mean, I still hate it, but it's a, that's a cool concept. So it is, that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like an unfinished outfit. Yeah. I gave her a K for okay. <laughs> Let's go. <gasps> so this is Cara Delevingne in Dior. Girl, those <laughs> nipple pads are from Forever 21. Ooh, I do not like that. I, I understand they were trying to go for maybe like the seamless gold look, but I really wish it was more seamless. Even if it wasn't seamless, it could have also been like beaded or like been more extra with like a breastplate. Ooh, you know what I mean? Like a gold lavish breastplate. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not bad though. I give it like a C. I would have loved the top hat with a feather. Or something with a feather. Oh, imagine a big red feather coming from her ear. That'd be so nice. I give it an F for Forever 21 nipple pasties. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Kirby is wearing those feather dust shoes you get from Amazon that when you walk around, you can dust up. <laughs> Send me the link, sis. I need those from my house. Khloe Kardashian. Oh, that's Khloe. Mm -hmm. Oh, I get their names confused. Okay. I feel like this is way too similar to Kim's. It literally looks like Kim's, but inverted. The, the, the silhouette, the style looks a little way too similar to Kim's. So I really wish they would have talked this out. Maybe she's wearing like somebody else's dress. Tana Mongu, who is that? That's, Gwen Stefani. <gasps> that's Gwen Stefani. <laughs> <laughs> Tana Mongu. You thought Gwen Stefani was Tana? T come on. No! I feel like that's what Tana's gonna look like in 10 years. Girl, give it two. <laughs> I like the bottom silhouette. It goes. It looks like she skinned Kermit the Frog alive and then dipped him in radioactive acid. Yeah. Yeah. Radioactive boogers. That's why she's skinned. I mean, not gonna lie, I kinda like it though. B for boogers. Oh my god. Look, I really hate when girls go all out and their men do the least. Look, she looks great, and he's just no, like... like, for real, Jody has, like, a top-tier outfit on right now. Yeah. She looks gorgeous, her skin glowing. And then there's the dude just chilling there. What if he's a designer? You know what? Maybe we're too uncultured. Let's we're, never do this yeah, again. let's never do this again. You know what we should be rating? Taco Bell. That's the only thing we'd be good at. This is a fool from Coraline. <laughs> Why? Where you born? Mm -hmm. Ooh. This is Dove Cameron. It reminds me of like a cyber. It reminds me of Grimes. I was gonna say it looks like kind of like Grimes um Met Gala outfit. Just it's reminiscent of it. I like it. I like it too. Fringe is definitely like fancy white tie. I like it. I like it. I give it a, a an A. Oh. Why the frick? It, see, this is what I mean. Why is Addison Ray there? Who invited her? Who's inviting these people? Oh yeah, Anna Wintour. Anna Anna Wintour. Um, since I know you're subscribed and you watch. We literally talk in the DMs all the time. Next time, please don't invite these influencers. Instead, invite us, cause we would literally eat on the runway. I can't, bro. I'm gonna play angle. Misha choice. <laughs> I'm gonna play. Listen, do I? I don't. I'm not a fan of Addison Ray. I don't even know what she does. I'm pretty sure she just does what like the other ones do, which is like be attractive and dance you know what a lot of people like to dog on tiktokers because like all they do is be attractive and dance and you want to for a check i wish that i could just be hot and dance and people would just watch in droves okay i wish i could do that i have to actually try and then my posts still don't do well so you know what right i'm tired of having dignity <laughs> be quiet this is about me <laughs> oh i'm hurt now <laughs> um anyways i don't like the dress <laughs> 
<laughs> all that for nothing. Do your thing, girl. You're young. You got money. You're at the Met Gala. For real, haters gonna hate, and I'm one of them. I give it an F. Next. <laughs> Ooh, I love it. Beautiful. Taylor Hill. Beautiful. I love it. Love, love, love. Aquafina. It's giving me Steven Universe. Literally. Pobrecita. She needs a hip replacement. Chloe Bailey looks stunned. She herself is beautiful. Her hair is beautiful. The collar thingy that she has on is beautiful. Girl, what is going on with the body? It looks like what I look like when I sneak into Walmart and steal. <laughs> Me when I sneak snacks into the movies. <laughs> I don't mind the silhouette. It's just like, you can tell that it wasn't blended well. Like you can see that when it was just like kind of put on. It's supposed to be abstract. So this is Jared Leto and yes. Dakota Johnson. And oh then- Oh just more BS. Oh, more like more BS. Jared Leto had to get a replacement for himself because his career is already dying. <laughs> Jeez. Am I too mean in this video? I'm just trying to be funny. I'm having a good time. I swear. So, next is Bad Bunny. What did they do to Bad Bunny? Que le hicieron? Burberry. Bro, this guy's a fashion icon. I freaking love Bad Bunny. Inspector Gadget looking at. <laughs> this ain't it, bro. He built like the Muffin Man. What is going on? I don't like this at all. <laughs> Yes. yes. Billy understood the assignment. She I love really it. Did. I love it because it does have the silhouette, but it is a modern twist. And there's just something about the contrast of the black hair and the black collar that I just, mm -hmm. I love it. I love also, it. Also, this is also another reference to a painting. Oh, really? Yeah. So, Billy Eilish, A, and I would give her S tier as well. I love it. Bro! This is a fool that's scrubbing the toilets after the Met Gala is over. <laughs> Why? What is going on? <laughs> So the talk of the night was Blake Lively. And we saved her for last. So beautiful. I love it. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love it very much. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls. Understand the assignment and have an outfit reveal. Yeah, and um, there's the reveal. I love it. What I heard was that it was a play on the Statue of Liberty because the Statue of Liberty was originally copper, right? It was like bronze color, but as it oxidized over the years and turned into the color that we know it now. Yeah, I think she's definitely S tier. So we have a couple of people in S tier, who, but who to you was your absolute favorite? I feel like it was less worse than everyone made it to be. Everyone was like, it was crap and no one was on theme. Just because the most famous people weren't on theme doesn't mean that no one was on theme. There was a lot of really mm -hmm. underrated looks. Yeah, like just because you don't know the person's name or know what they do doesn't mean that their outfit doesn't Not count. Great. Yeah. I remember when it came to the last Met Gala theme, I think it was like the, what was the last Met Gala theme? Yeah, it's called In America, a lexicon of fashion and a lot of people were saying that it was like underwhelming or whatever, but there were a few people who did really good outfits. There was a Native American woman. I'll do right here with her name. Beautiful. I I don't know the name her name off the top of my head. Yeah, she might be a smaller star compared to everyone else, but her outfit was freaking beautiful. Yeah, I feel like everyone just looks at like Kim Kardashian and those people, mm -hmm. like you know, A list celebrities, like they weren't even on theme. Like, okay, there's a lot of other people going and a lot of other people that are doing amazing and they're not even recognized for it, which sucks. Yeah. Also, ultimately, I think that everyone, every single person, every single person was on theme. Apparently, later on in the night, or I think it was before. Basically, at one point, there was someone who was cutting up the red carpet and handing it to people across the street. And if that doesn't say how far away we are from the white tie life, then I don't know what does. Someone did that? But it was musty. Exactly. They gave the mustiness to the peasants and we will never be able to walk on it because we are not them. I don't know. That's talk for yourself. I'm manifesting. I mean, I'm manifesting too. I meant you guys, not me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I feel like the same reason that people hate celebrities is the same reason why they're celebrities though, right? Because a lot of people would be like, oh, they live in these insane mansions, they own islands, they gentrify everywhere that they go, which are very valid reasons to, you know, be frustrated with the system that we live in. But I also think that's the reason that people like them so much because, and I feel like with social media, that's why they've grown even more because they really gave us a glimpse into a life that we can never attain. You know, it really does give people the opportunity for parasocial relationships, and it helps them live through them vicariously. I don't know. The same reason that they're hated is the same reason why they are celebrities. 
Mm-hmm. However, my finishing note is this. If a celebrity annoys you, that's because people put way too much importance on celebrities, like mm-hmm. standing in line, eating food. Like, who cares? Who cares? They really literally, are. Who cares? That's why I said in the beginning of this video, I literally, at the end of the day, yeah, it's fun to look at the Met Gala looks, but people act as if it's like heresy if they don't go on theme or whatever. There's this huge idolization of celebrities who literally could care less about you they don't pay your bills no nothing it's literally not that deep it literally is not that deep i know it's hard to believe but they are normal people they're just living a much better life (laughs) (laughs) so i think the takeaway is this i think it's really fun you know to be excited for these events like the grammys and the oscars and the met gala oh yeah and see our favorites do what they want to do but at the end of the day don't be so chronically online that your physical being is being ailed by you know these by kim kardashian wearing the marilyn monroe dress you know yeah like i'm sorry i got a lot i gotta cook dinner i gotta clean my toilet you know my parents right now i gotta call my mom like i got things to go going on i'm not gonna ruin my day over that so yeah there you go thank you for having me so that's the lesson for today's video (laughs) thank you so much to my sister for joining me on my youtube channel please go check her out on her youtube channel which is penny tovar and her instagram because her instagram is literally popping i wish i my instagram was like that and also check out my instagram i'm a lot more active on instagram i'm not as active on like uh updating you guys on youtube and also make sure to check out my music because i make music but other than that i hope you guys enjoyed today's video it was literally just supposed to be us getting together talking crap and just having fun and it's supposed to be a laid-back video and it's probably going to be happening more often because we have very exciting things in the works do i hear the word podcast together it rhymes with broadcast. Yeah, we are doing a something that rhymes with broadcast mm-hmm. together. Before I go, I want you guys to do something very important for me, which is to take a deep breath, <sighs> drink some water, take a nap, do something that you love today, and make this day count. And go touch some grass. And go touch some grass, because a lot of you need it. Either that or go smoke some grass. Okay. I will see you guys in the next video. Ah, uh, that's my thing. I say very real, okay? Oh, I didn't know that rolling your R's was only for you. And I will see you guys in the next video.